Okay, hey guys, Melissa here. I just finished going over to church here. Um, covered my family in prayer. That's usually what I do when I go to church. I ask for prayer. Um, one of the guys was praying for the oppression that my husband is probably under. He's like, he's probably got this dark oppression around him to be doing such a thing to you. He was praying for that. Um, you know, so I have an email that court date is in May, May 16th, I think. So it doesn't look like I have to go to New Hampshire. But letting others know about what's going on in your life and having a caring church is important. And then with, with a guy I prayed with a few weeks ago, he was like, we bumped into each other and he's like, how are things going? And, you know, he wanted an update. These are the people you want to be around, people who care. So um, he's like, how are you making it? And I'm like, well, you know, I made less than 10000 or about 10000 last year. I said I, you know, door dashed. That was like 700 I didn't tell him this, but that was like 700 Broadmoor was like 3000 something. Another place was 1000 and then there were a few other places. So last night when I was, or the other night, I was looking at my taxes and it equal to about $10,000 is what I have made. And he's like, how are you making it? And he goes, have you applied for help over here? And I'm like, yeah, I just put in an application for help with my vehicle because I'm running DoorDash on a wheel bearing that's about to go. So he's like, good, good, you know, I'm glad. And so he's like, how are you doing with this and that? So when a church is willing to stop and take the time to ask, how are you doing? And you don't even have to go to them per se. They're willing to reach out. Uh, that is glorifying God, honestly. And, you know, when I can share and I said, you know, most of the help I've gotten is from churches that actually have helped me stay on my feet for the last almost two years. That glorifies God, right? So he's like, how are you doing with this and that? And I said, well, things are finally starting to turn around. You know, I have a little bit of work with fast food. I'm looking for more work. So um, be around people who are willing to pray for you. And not just a small prayer, but prayer warriors. So one of these guys over here, major prayer warrior. And the advice I got with my divorce is let God have the last word. Let him fight for you. Let him have the last word and what will happen. And that is definitely what I'm doing.